So I wanted to update the video I did on making a cheap air gate course, having uh, used it for most of a year now. It's, it's done really well and I'm really pleased with the final design. So the, uh, the things we have for the track are, first of all, the starting pads, which I know you can buy quite a range of things, but we found you just need something cheap and flat. So these are Fomex 5mm thick offcuts, which I got free from a sign making company. I've just cut them into 16 inch or 40 centimeter squares just because that fits the bag that I have, uh, the rucksack bag. And those are perfect to just pop down on the start line so the quad sit on them and it means you can take off from the grass without an issue. You could use anything though, plywood, any anything flat. The nice thing about the Fomex is it's waterproof and it's uh, it, it doesn't warp or twist or anything and, it's, and it was free. But a piece of plywood or anything you have. The second thing we use is the marker dots. These are football marker dots which I've used for helicopter training and lots of time for a long time. Uh, there's two types. The cheap ones on the left are fine, but they're, they're brittle and they break. The ones on the right are branded Precision and I think are much better. So I would pay a little bit more for those. Um, they're about 50 is about 15 pounds, mixed colours. If you can get them in a single colour, yellow or orange shows up best on grass. And now we come to the air gate design. Now this is the sort of third iteration, but it's, it's just still 21 and a half mil or three quarter inch PVC pipe with a couple of T joints for the legs and a couple of 45 degree bends for the top. The, the ones that I have, the lengths are 110 centimeters, which is about uh, three and a half feet, which is just because that's the size of the bag that I use to store it in. But it's a, that's a, an okay size for air gates. I wouldn't want to go any smaller than that. But if I, I think if, if the size of a bag wasn't an issue, I think four feet lengths of, of for, for everything, for the, uh, the legs and for the sides and the top would be perfect. Again, using just a foam, 22 mil foam lagging with white and black stripes made of tape, shows up really well in the goggles. You can see it's freestanding, you can lift it and carry them around. They're tough, so when they get hit by a quad, they'll just bounce around. Because they're not tied to the ground, they impact they absorb the impact uh, really nicely so if they get a really big whack you, you see they'll fall over but you can just pick them up again uh, if uh, we have had them come apart in an accident but it, even when they come apart you have to go out to get the quad anyway um, so you can see this is just some video sharing impacts that we've crashed into these hundreds of times and we've never broken an air gate so they're really durable the foam gets a bit nicked up by the props but you can just put a bit of tape over the the, the gaps and it, it's they're, they're fine so this is just showing we've crashed into them a lot so they've really had some proper testing and they've they've worked really really well the uh the, the this is to show the size difference between the uh, commercial gates which are pretty similar size i'd say they're a fraction bigger but i think if you did four foot lengths then you'd end up with the same and now we come to uh, some extensions. Now I did, last track we did, I, there was a tricky corner and I thought maybe a slightly bigger air gate would be nice, but I didn't, I've, obviously the size of my bag is fixed, so I made up some little extensions. Now these extensions are 50 centimeters, which is about 20 inches, and I think they're probably a bit too big. So um, you can, they're, they're okay, uh, and I, I'm glad to have them. I've got a couple of sets, but I think that air gate is for normal use a bit too tall. But it's fine if you wanted to make it a bit easier to start with. The thing is, you can always cut the pipe down. It's not so easy to glue it back on, but the extensions are just straightforward to do. So that uh, ends up with, um, with a longer thing. The, the string across the bottom is seven feet wide or 210 centimeters. And you can see this is the corner markers, which uh, there's either use just a bit of garden cane. I use the metal, just metal garden cane, which is a, a couple of quid. And then I have a piece of uh, PVC pipe and another piece of the pipe lagging with the white and black just to make it more visible. These pop-up traffic cones I got on eBay and they're really nice and visible and the, the cone, the, um, the corner post will stand up in the cone so you can just put them down exactly like that. The, if it's windy they can blow over so then you can just use the garden cane on the left and just slide the cone over the cane and then when you slide the pipe back on it will actually sit on top of the cone so you get a bit more height which is no bad thing, so that's, again, really easy, really cheap to do. The, the next thing I wanted to talk about was frequency management. This is a really excellent free chart from RC Groups. We've just cut these into tags and laminated them, so you can see that's channel. Uh, Race Array has got a Fat Shark and a Boscam channels. The, uh, when you pick a channel, you, you pick the, there's a bucket of tags, you just pick the one that's free, you change your channel to that tag, and then you just loop that tag around the uh, handle of your transmitter. 
so that you've got that tag before you power on your video transmitter and that means that anyone can see what tag you've got and when you crash or if you need to change a prop and if anyone's waiting you can just give up your tag and they can then use that to race so again it's really simple we have a I've got a little chart with the dip switches for my transmitters my video transmitters so I just look up my channel for the tag and then I flick the switches and I'm done so that's a really easy way to make sure no one clashes on channels it's still made out of two lengths of uh, PVC pipe you just need um, a couple of T-pieces for the feet and a couple of elbows for the top and then some string, a tape measure, a pen and a hacksaw to cut the pipe with. Now there's an optional, some optional bits so I got a plastic pipe cutter for £5 or $8 on eBay which is just a quick way to cut the pipe and some bright colour neon paracord which is again just to, to tie between the, the feet just for neatness. So you measure the poles exactly as before. The new measurements I'm using are 110, 110 centimeters for the uh, sides, 60 centimeters for the top, and just under, 50, I think 53 centimeters for the feet. Just again, so it all fits in the back of the car and in my awning bag. So the pipe cutter, you just twist the pipe and squeeze, and it just cuts through the pipe really quickly and neatly. So it's nice and quick. So then I just use that piece as a template just to cut the other four short pieces for the feet. And then I can cut the, uh, the the two sides and the top piece, and it's very very quick to cut. So then to assemble it, you just put the short sections into the T pieces to make up the feet. And they just push in. I've actually glued mine in with solvent with the PVC solvent glue, but that's just so I don't lose bits. Um, they're, they're quite a snug fit, so you can use them perfectly well, just pushed in. And then the 45 degree elbows go on the long one long pole and on the top part, and then you're ready to just slide it all together. Now, a couple of changes I made on the string rather than tying the string round, I drill four mil holes in the bottom of the T pieces. So you can see you just hold them and drill the holes, record as drill, and then I take the paracord and I just push that up through the holes and then you'll see I tie a figure of eight knot. So there's one I've done but you can just see that's the figure of eight knot. So you literally cut the paracord with a hot knife, uh, just cut it slightly over six feet because you want six feet between the feet. So a figure of eight knot once it's through the hole and then just tuck the loose part just tucks into the tube so uh, you end up with a it, it looks much neater and uh, that, that then keeps the feet six feet apart which is the right measurement 